Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Jeff Teague. This is Auto Jeff Reviews. I'm really excited. I'm at Johnson Hyundai of Wake Forest in North Carolina, and they are allowing me to review this. The 2023 Hyundai Kona N. No, not the 23 Kona N line. This is the 23 Kona N. What is it? Well, that's a fair question. Let's walk around and see if we can figure it out together. Is it a hot hatch? No, but think hot hatch meets crossover meets SUV because it's got versatility. It's certainly got performance. It's got those fun to drive characteristics, has 276 horsepower, but there's a button on the inside where you can get even more power. It'll make you grin. Speaking of that, let's get our interior first look. It's got some height to it. These are really cool seats too because they're a combination of leather seats and suede seats. These bucket seats, they've got great bolstering they're comfortable, but you're thinking performance, right? Now, what about that grin button that I was telling you about? Well, follow along with the video and I'll let you know, but this one right here, NGS, N Grin Shift. And as Doug DeMuro would tell us, well, we're gonna learn all about its quirks and features. Let's talk about engine performance and performance fast facts. This is a really heavy hood. Well, just looking here, we know it's an N, we know it's a turbo, it's a 2.0 liter inline turbo engine 276 horsepower and 289 pound-feet of torque. Remember that red button? NGS, N Grin Shift. That's the boost button. You push that, it'll give you 10 more horsepower up to 286 for 20 seconds. That's pretty amazing. Eight-speed wet dual clutch transmission with paddle shifters and rev matching. This comes standard with launch control and the end corner carving differential. Imagine that as being ELSD, limited slip differential. So when you're cornering, it sends power to the outer wheels. It maximizes your turning speed and traction while reducing understeering. This comes with end tuned electronically controlled suspension. It also has ways inside where you can change that on your own. Suspension, engine, transmission. This has four wheel disc brakes. 235 40R19 P0 summer tires, high performance baby, and 14.2 inch brake rotors. Look at these 19 inch wheels. They look fantastic, right? With a five lug pattern and badging. We're gonna be seeing that all over the place. Now let's come down here. We're gonna talk about the profile, focusing on those wheels here. These are 12.4 inch brake rotors here. Wow. This is a 13.2 gallon fuel tank and posted on the window sticker. Yes, this window sticker right here. And we'll look at the full window sticker at the end of the video. 20 in the city, 27 on the highway, 23 combined. Foreshadowing, spoiler alert. Take one look at this front end here. And remember, this is probably the first impression as you're passing it. First impressions mean a lot, right? It's aggressive, it's tough, and it's fun. So let's get a little closer here. We're gonna see, of course, the end badging. It is everywhere all over the vehicle. But again, look at this three-dimensional mesh grill. It's got some matte black to it, but it's also got some gloss black to it. It's real interesting. Look at this. We've got LED headlights, LED daytime running lights. This right here, that's not functional, but again, it looks really tough. Look at that. It's simple, but it's a muscular hood musculature, as George Takei would say. And then we'll see this all around the vehicle here. Look at the red accents. As we go down closer, this is a 6.8 inch ground clearance, so just kind of watch out for that. But it had no problem backing into this right here, as you can see on my Instagram channel. I show that. Auto Jeff Reviews, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Look at that, what a front end. That's hot. Actually, let's get in a little closer and talk about the safety. Since we're on the front end here, it's got the front side, side curtain airbags, forward collision avoidance assist, blind spot collision avoidance assist. I like that. Rear cross traffic collision avoidance assist, lane following assist, driver attention warning, and rear occupant alert with safe exit warning. And as Hyundai says, America's best warranty. Five year, 60,000 mile new vehicle warranty, 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain. And like I said earlier, you look at this and you wanna say hot hatch. You wanna scream, show me this hot hatch. I wanna drive this hot hatch. But no, it's bigger. It's got a lot of versatility that you would see in a crossover in an SUV. So let's get a little closer along that. And we're gonna focus in on the rockers here. We've got the end badging again. 
just looks so cool. And then that red all the way around, we're gonna see it even more pronounced when we get to the back part. Gloss black mirror caps, turn signal LED right here. We've got blind spot avoidance there. Nice size windows, the roof rails, shark fin antenna. Oh yeah, look at this spoiler. As a matter of fact, Hyundai calls it a double winged roof spoiler. But look at this here, the third brake light right there, triangular, super cool, super one of a kind. Here's where we see the blind spot right there in the side mirror. We're gonna come out of the door so we can see the turn signal right like that. Yeah, I almost fell. We're gonna keep going though. And then we've got auto lock, auto unlock right here because it's part of the smart key push button start right there. So looking on in here, we've got our turn signal going. Got our LED tail light all lit up here. Chrome badging, the end badge of course, backup camera. And then we've got a raised red accent strip along with two different exhaust ports and you can change the exhaust, there's the diffuser. You can change the exhaust sound to be quieter or louder, throatier, if you will. So what about cargo space, Jeff? Well, we've got 19.2 behind the rear seats or 45.8 with the seats down. You've got top tethers here, which is nice. Very cool stuff. Might recommend getting add-on mats. That could be cool. What about this right here? We've got tie downs. Does this open up? Yep, it sure does. Ho! We've got a little bit of soundproofing and storage. Can I open that? Ho! All right. We've got a little wheel well there. Excellent, my friends. And then put those seats down. And then you open up a lot of space. And look, it's nearly flat. So you can stack up. Maybe your dog wants to sit there and observe its kingdom. You can take this off too, so you don't need that cover there hiding your valuables to open up for more storage space. So again, versatility with this vehicle. For rear seat space here, we've got 37.8 inches of rear seat headroom and 35.2 inches of rear seat legroom. So it's not a ton back here, but it seems enough for me. This is kind of a hard, small, middle seat, but that's okay. I don't know if you'd sit five back here, really, even though it is a five seater. Then we've got this right here, the suede and the leather. It's kind of firm but good support. Now here, look at this right here. Then we've got the harder leather. You'll see blue accent stitching all the way throughout the cabin. It's kind of interesting. I like the black with the blue myself. It's like the NFC North division. All right, we've got cup holders kind of deep there. Not exactly huge, but that could work. This does not come off. And good surface area here. Very firm armrest there. We've got latches for child safety seats. That's important as well. And then going over here, we've got USB. I like that. And I might put a phone here maybe or whatever you want it to be. I like having the net on the one side at least, not on two. And then look here, see the alloy pedals and the view from the back. Nice, looks cool. All right, so let's look in from the driver's side. Notice, remember I told you end badging all the way throughout the outside, well, it's on the inside as well. It's in the sill right there. Again, remember, suede with leather. Very comfortable. You could write your name in the suede. That would be an extra bonus, I think. See the blue stitching all the way throughout? And then we've got a pocket here for sport bottles, and it goes along the edges there. Leather wrap steering wheel, manually adjusted steering wheel, by the way. Looking on in from the passenger side here. Got soft touch armrest here. Bottle holder. What else would be important? Well, we want to know what we can fit in here, of course. Got the vents and that's kind of nice. Interesting pattern here. Very grippy. You could lay something here, it probably wouldn't fall. Nice. Again, look at the pattern of the blue. We'll write J-E-F-F. -F. That way it's claimed, it's mine. Can't have it. All right, so in here we got a pretty deep size pocket. Actually, that was deeper than I thought it was gonna be. And then look here, we've got our different modes, heated seats, wireless charging pad. Now that would come in handy. 
I did not expect that to be on this vehicle. Single touch, digital, and 10.25, actually 10.25 matching screens. Now right now we're in sport mode. I can turn this dial right here, drive modes. So we'll do snow mode, eco mode, normal mode. That's so cool how that digitally changes. And you can hear the exhaust change with that as well. Now this right here is end mode. That puts everything at peak levels. Boom, end mode. Takes the customizing out of it. NGS, N grin shift. If I push it, it's gonna say it's not available. Conditions not met, but that gives you an extra boost of 10 horsepower for 20 seconds. So if you wanna pass somebody, get up a hill real quick, get onto a highway, that may be the way to do it. This changes the drive mode, the other N right here. So they got two end modes. Just keep pushing that and we'll stay at eco for right now. You can hear the exhaust go down. I like those alloy pedals there. Now what else can I see? Well the illumination right here, it's the brightness. I'll make it the brightest possible. And then we've got our downhill brake control. You can see that downhill brake control on, off. That could also come in handy to you. Let's go through these little We'll call them filing cabinets. So we'll go down so you can see what's on this. Go to the next one. G-Force. Holla. Lap time. And then we go back. Now to me, this is a very useful tool here. Really easy, it's a touch screen, it's 10.25 inches, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, right like this, and so many different buttons, controls. What are we gonna do with them? Well, first of all, you gotta push end mode. If you see end mode, you gotta push it, right? We've got our lap timer, we've got brake pressure, we've got, look at that, I'm pushing down on the brake right now with my Mandalorian socks. That's pretty cool. Engine temp, oil temp, pretty cool stuff. Look at this. You can change, not change, but you can program in your lap times based on pre-set up raceways all around. I'd do Watkins Glen. That would be pretty cool. So you might not necessarily be using that, but you might. That's so cool. Let's go back here. You can do the map. Got navigation in it. Navigation menu. Ho! Phone, phone projection, voice memo, climate. So let's see what we can use here that would be important. So does that mean if I push climate and I go ahead and adjust the fan speed? Get back here. There we go. Okay, it says it's on a 6543, and that tells the temperature, and it's a sliding scale. Okay, I like that. See, we're learning this together here. Valet mode, if you want somebody to drive it for you. Quiet mode, it won't go above a certain level. Volume levels above seven will be decreased to seven when we're in quiet mode. HD radio, radio. There we go. Boy, that looks just like the Kias. Well, and the Hyundais. <laughs> and then media, blue link, notifications, and the user manual. Scan that QR code to get the manual so we can learn everything about this. Woo! All right, we got the SOS button, got the blue link. Sunglass holder, whoop, whoop. And then we've got a lighted mirror very cool all right let's take a look at the window sticker here 23 kona n fuel mileage that we were telling you about talk about assembly ports engine transmission so come on over here got good safety ratings the parts that are reported johnson hyundai of wake forest remember go to johnson hyundai of wakeforest.com ask for my friend Devin Scarborough. He's fantastic to work with, such a good guy. So look at standard for safety and warranty. Then we're gonna to get to that performance. 
and the exterior features, holla. Comfort and convenience. Love the Harman Kardon system. And then what was added to the 34-7? Well, the Sonic blue color cargo net, cargo tray, roof rack, cross rails. And that'll put it down to 36820. Thanks for watching everybody. Remember, go to johnsonhundayofwakeforest.com and definitely ask for my friend Devin Scarborough. He will be a fantastic salesperson to work with. Maybe he can get you this. What do you think of the Kona N? What features stood out to you? What about the performance? How about that grin button? The NGS button. You're down with NGS, yeah, you know me. All right, thanks so much. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. How does it compare to other competitors? Are there competitors? All right, I'm at Auto Jeff Reviews, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. I'll see you soon.